Android 12 Beta 3 signifies a milestone as the stable OS builds inch ever closer to a full launch later this year. As you may already know, we've already done a deeper dive into the top new features and functions, but we've unpacked a few more that you might have missed, but should definitely still know about. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Let's start right where it all will begin for Pixel 6 owners later this year. Android 12 Beta 3 is introducing a brand new themed device setup screen and experience. We rarely see changes to the setup walkthrough, but with Material U theming at the very core of Android 12, a lick of paint at the initial launch screen is at least warranted. Many of you out there probably won't see this screen or won't have seen this screen for some time, especially as restoring a phone or even setting one up is not something you do unless you pick up a brand new device or encounter a problem that requires a full reset. Google has put further emphasis on teaching navigation gestures with a lengthy tutorial on how to use these. This isn't fully new, but it does seem more in depth now than it was on previous releases. The rest of the UI remains fairly similar, but has a little tweak here and there to fit the wider Material U redesign. With Android 12 Beta 3 comes an update to version 2.8 of the Pixel Sounds app, bringing with it some new and updated ringtones. Some of the original defaults appear to have been tweaked to better fit with some of the other Google sound tweaks seen on other devices, such as the Nest Hub in recent months. Bright Morning is the current default alarm sound, and it comes in at 12 seconds. It's still available, but Google has added fresh start to the collection. It shares the same core structure and can best be described as a softer evolution. This refinement is also much longer at 31 seconds. On top of that, the current default popcorn notification tone has also been slightly updated with Eureka being a little softer and less sharp than the original. There should also be an updated phone ring tone called Your New Adventure to replace the big adventure. Unfortunately though, this fails to download, but these are going to be the clearest examples of the lineage between the old and new sounds. And if you want to have a listen, then we will leave some download links down in the description. When watching content using the picture in picture mode, you'll notice rounded corners on the video player first and foremost. Those rounded corners were added in a previous beta, but when dismissing the video from your home screen, it has a new effect. Dragging the floating player downwards sees the X icon become far more prominent and slides in from the bottom of your display. Sliding any playing content into this section and the video will be enveloped by this X icon with a haptic vibration confirming that it will be dismissed before sliding out of view. In practice, this is a really nice animation change and makes it clear to new users just what is going on. Unfortunately, that X icon isn't yet affected by the material you theme in settings, but we're hoping that too might get a lick of paint. That said, the blue icon is still obvious on most backgrounds from the Pixel Launcher home screen. Following the first beta, Android 12 users immediately complained about how the ripple effect did look like a graphical bug, and it's hard to argue. Google has responded and promised updates, with Beta 3 delivering a more subtle sparkle effect. In Android 12 Beta 3, the ripple effect is still available, but it's just not quite as visible or indeed irritating as it once was before. The individual dots and sparkles are smaller and therefore less noticeable. Taps and activations now feel less like a bug, because the artifacting has been reduced substantially. The result is a much smoother and less distracting animation, but it's still helpful when tapping menus and on-device toggles throughout the Android UI. The settings app has also been toned down in Android 12 Beta 3 with the color stripped in favor of a mono or grayscale approach. Many subsections still retain the material you theming, but the main list view appears in that grayscale color palette rather than with colorful icons to denote each section. Also, joining this grayscale change in the settings sections, all toggles have been updated to be much more consistent and there's no variation between these. The app info page has also had a slight refinement with rounded corners being added to each of the buttons that you can choose. None of these changes do affect the functionality, but they all help to tie in together aspects of the full OS redesign for better or worse. There is a new fingerprint scanner animation when unlocking your device in Android 12 Beta 3, and it has been updated to fit in with many of the other new animations in this latest build. 
This new wave animation effectively copies the other lock screen animations added back with Android 12 Beta 2. The always on display on your phone will activate and power on from the corresponding position in your display to where the fingerprint scanner is placed at the rear of your device, provided you have a pixel with a fingerprint scanner that is. This also replicates the face unlock animation added in the last beta for Pixel 4 devices. Tapping the fingerprint scanner to initiate an unlock will see the screen activate a small circular wave until your entire home screen is revealed. It's a smooth transition that fits with the rest of the tweaks that have been made within the Android 12 beta updates thus far. Also on top of that, when plugging in a charger, there is a wave ripple animation effect from the bottom of the screen towards the charge port. In another one of those pesky limited phased rollouts, Gboard on Android 12 now supports Material U theming for some lucky users out there. The change is likely to be made available to everyone at some point in the coming months ahead of the stable Android 12 release, so it is a notable change nonetheless. The Google Keyboard redesign will vary ever so slightly depending on whether you have keyboarders enabled though. If disabled, the 1, 2, 3 key and spacebar are placed in pill-shaped buttons and adopt a rather dull hue based upon the system colour settings. While the return key is similarly shaped, but along with the expand key in the top suggestion strip, is much brighter and vibrant in colour. If keyboarders are enabled, the return and expand buttons are the brightest keys and are placed in circular icons. The 1, 2, 3 button is also circular and quite dark. However, there is a third level of key theming that slots in between the other two shades for caps lock, comma, period and backspace. Lastly, the background is themed while all other keys are lighter and white. We have to say this might be one of those changes that you either love or hate. So in combination with our first deep dive, that should be around about every single feature that we found in Android 12 Beta 2 thus far. Sure, there might be some hidden options, but for the most part, this has been quite the overhaul to add to all of the other overhauls in previous betas. That said, what is your favorite new feature or indeed features? Let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to get your hands on yet another exclusive wallpaper, then hitting the like button will help you. And if we manage to get 2,500 of those, then you'll find the link down in the description to download the wallpaper for yourself. But until next time, this is Damon with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.